Today's video is going to cover the positions, a few of the basic rules, and some bad habits for beginners to avoid. So first let's go over the basic offensive positions. Start with the center position. That's center cage closest to the goal anywhere from 2 meters to 4 meters out. This position is also called 2 meters, whole set, or post. On either side of the center position, also anywhere from 2 to 4 meters out, are the wings. Further out on either side, 5 to 8 meters from the goal, are the flats. And finally, center cage, furthest from the goal, is point. This offense is sometimes called a 3-3, referring to the three positions on top, that's point and the flats, and the three positions on bottom, that's the center and the wings. It can also be called an umbrella offense. That's because if you draw a line from the center position to point and connect to the other positions, it forms an umbrella. Now each position on offense has a number associated with it, and most programs use the same numbering system. So we'll start with position 1, which is the wing to the right of the goal in our diagram. We then work our way around the perimeter in numerical order until we get to the center position, which is 6. Now here's a couple ways to remember the numbers. You can memorize that point is 3, and then count around to the other positions. Also, if you have a left-hander on your team, they usually play at 5 because of the better shooting angle with their left arm. You need to get to know the numbers and the positions so that if your coach tells you to run a 3-drop, you know exactly what position to drop from. And now you know the offensive positions and their numbers. So let's move on and look at the defensive positions in a basic press defense. In this diagram, the X's are the defenders. In a press, you want to stay in between your man and the goal at all times. Now that we've covered the positions and their names, let's go over a few of the basic rules of the game. First, the two meter line. Two meters away from the cage. An offensive player cannot go inside the two meter line without the ball. Kind of like offsides in soccer. If they do that, that's going to be a turnover. Now the referee is going to wait until they affect the play or catch the ball until they make that turnover call. If the offensive player goes in with the ball, another offensive player on their team can also move inside the two as far as the ball goes in. If they throw the ball out, both players must exit in a timely manner. Five meter line. This line is important because if you draw a foul outside of five meters, you are allowed to shoot it if you do it in one motion and in a timely manner. And we cover that in our regular fouls video, so please check that out. You can only have one hand on the ball at a time. Put two hands on the ball, it's going to be a turnover. The goalie can have two hands on the ball as long as he's within five meters of his own cage. There's three bad habits beginner players get into. They pick it up on top, or they start on top, roll it over on the bottom, or they clamp it which shortens up your arm and exposes you to a ball under. You've got to walk before you can run. The walking is pick the ball up underneath. Do not pick it up on top. Relax your hand when you pick it up. Don't have a death grip on the ball with space in between your hand. Relax. Spread out your fingers. Your thumb and your pinky are there for a firm yet relaxed grip. Your three fingers in the middle are there for direction, and then when you use your wrist, they let go of the ball. So you should be able, once you grip the ball, to just hold the ball with your pinky and your thumb. And then you just gently put your hand on for your nice and relaxed grip. If your hands are too small, you can't grip the ball, don't worry about it. You'll grow into it. It's not a big deal. Relax your hand, pick it up underneath. Start with those good fundamental habits, then you don't have to waste time later retraining yourself. So, from Shaquatics Water Polo, I'm David Farkas. We'll see you next time.